the book is basically my story, my story of how I was diagnosed with lupus in 2011. And I was just on a track to just living life. I was kind of wanting to move to the next stage in my life. I was probably about 27, 26. The book takes you through that journey um, from recovery to figuring out what it is I was passionate about and to being here today doing what I'm doing now. Why did I choose to share my story? I think that it is important that women of color, particularly black women, um, share their stories, right? There is a narrative, there's a negative narrative, there's a negative stereotype out there when it comes to black women. And we have amazing stories. We have amazing things that we go through. We are strong, we are fierce. And so I wanna change that narrative. I want it to come from our voices. Um, and so it was important for me to tell my story my way. Porter walks us through her health journey, her testimony of obstacles, challenges, and encourages the reader in every page to believe in what God has promised you. Uh, what I gained from this book was a great appreciation for God's grace, his mercy, and a very real glimpse into the life of a walking miracle. It's so true that you don't have to look like what you've gone through. The impact I believe this book can have on others is to reinforce the fact that God is real. He still heals, he still saves, he still delivers, and he uses our problems to push us towards our purpose. Readers should buy this book because they will get a front row seat to witness the story of victories, setbacks, and challenges, but also witness how a relationship with God and an open heart to hear God speak to us can make the difference in our lives. It will lift you up, it will encourage you, it will inspire you to do something beyond the norm. It looked like Kanina was the underdog in this book, but... God had a purpose. God had a plan. He allowed her to go through her illness um, to tell others about how good he is. He could even bring you from the brink of death. Kanina Porter uh, battled with um, lupus and she explains how that affected her life, how that catapulted her into uh, where she is today and how she's impacting others um, and how she's encouraging those to keep fighting, keep giving, keep praying, keep believing um, that all things are possible with Christ. But I loved this book. Um, I got done with it in a few hours um, because it was that good. Again, the, you know, despite what you go through, you can always make, you can always make it out and that you can, there's always something more for you to do. You know, we can learn from our own experiences and we can also learn from others' experiences. God says that we are overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So reading Kanita's testimony is, um, you know, it's transformation. answer the question that you're probably asking like what is this like what what is the more movement crew like who are you the more movement crew or the more movement itself is just a community of people who want to strive for things that exceed boundaries um people who want to change the narrative people who want to break down barriers that is what the more movement is and so we got people out here um in everyday life achieving great things and um you know, overcoming obstacles to get to where they are. And so this show is going to show that. It's going to highlight lives of ordinary people um, who are doing great things in their community. We're really excited to provide this space for that. And that is what The More Movement is. Check out The More Movement Crew podcast. Check out The More Movement podcast. Check out the More Movement Crew podcast. Check out the More Movement Crew podcast. Don't forget to check out the More Movement Crew podcast.